Hey guys. What a fucking joke. Seriously. I mean, from having to wear all black because some girls wanted a job so bad they let a guy grab their butt or suck a dick to get the job. And now, seriously, you're wearing black? I mean, forget everybody dying in Afghanistan. Forget cops getting killed daily. Forget people being born with with heinous diseases they'll never get over. You seriously are fucking mourning poor women because they actually made it made a mutual agreement to get a job. So it was basically like instead of getting money, they accepted a sexual favor to get that job. Nobody forced them to do it, right? This isn't about forcible rape. And when they call it that, it's 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 just it's such a travesty for women who have truly been raped. It's a fucking it's 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 a crime what what you guys do to women who are truly raped because some woman made a mutual agreement with another person with another person it was a mutual agreement to have a sexual favor right in exchange for a job prostitutes do it they there's no problem with that in in uh in nevada i mean it's the exact same thing women take money for sexual favors men pay them for that why isn't every one of them why isn't every one of those women in Vegas me tooing? Hashtag, hashtag me tooing because they're being they're being taken advantage of, right? So women have a mutual agreement with a man, right? Mutual. If there's no forcing, and they have sex with a man or let the man grab their butt or suck the man off, then they get the job. So both did what the other said they were gonna do mutually and they got a job and then they complained about it 30 years later and they start crying suing and now the fucking golden globe awards is mourning it by everybody having to wear black what a fucking joke you make every fucking soldier cop that that got killed in the line of duty you fuck it's like spinning on their grave it's like every woman that got raped it's like you're spitting on her fucking, on her situation. Then you got fucking, you got Oprah comes out wearing black and talking about the this beautiful black man wearing a white tie. And it was so beautiful because he was black and the tie was white. Could you imagine a white person doing that? Could you imagine if some white actress went up and said, well, he was so beautiful because he was so white and he was wearing a black tie, but he was white and it was beautiful that he was white. I mean, she is such a fucking race baiter. It's pathetic. It's pathetic. And now she's comparing that back in the 60s to her now. We've already had a black president. It's no big deal that you won some fucking... You won some award about being a fucking movie person in Hollywood, okay? Then she goes on to talk about a, a, a poor black woman who got raped by four white men. She had to use the race, a race baiter. A fu- That's what you call race baiting because she never once mentioned that, okay, now since then, since the, since the, since the early 60s, Rape has gone up, I mean, a lot. Black men are much more likely to commit rape against white women now. Okay, can you imagine if you heard a white actress at the Golden Globe saying, why are so many black men uh, raping white, uh, white women? She would be fucking, uh, she would be called a fucking racist and kicked out of Hollywood. Okay, this was in the 60s. A black, a black woman got raped by, uh, by four white men. I'll guarantee you, I would bet $1,000 all four of those whites were staunch Democrats, hardcore Democrats. 
Because one thing people don't talk about when they start using the race card so much and white this and the white terrible, every white terrible person that's done a terrible thing against a black person is a Democrat. From the fucking KKK to the slave owners, all of them are Democrats. Nobody mentions that because all those liberal leftist Democrats at the Golden Globe, at the Golden uh, Globes, they're Democrats too. Could you imagine how fucking guilty they must be? That's why they sit there like with a shit-eating grin going, yeah, yeah, we were terrible. No, Republicans didn't do that. Did she once, did, did Oprah say anything about 400,000 white Republicans dying, dying, not for their families, to free black slaves? She didn't say a fucking word about that. And you know what? You know what's the funniest thing that she didn't say a fucking word about? The the women that got abused by Weinstein. She was fucking enabling it. She was like hi, Weinstein's best buddy. They were like fucking BFFs. There's a picture of her like holding a girl's hand, a, a young blonde girl, like with Weinstein, like saying, "It'll be okay. You go ahead." Just you, you just gotta suck them off once, and you, and you'll get the part. Just go do it, do it. Nobody talks about that. Why didn't any of those pictures come out? Why didn't the fact that she was one of Weinstein's best friends come out? Because she's condemning everything he did, but she's not mentioning the fact that she was right there with him as like one of his fucking one of his fucking. She was like his wingman. But she didn't mention that. All she mentioned was how beautiful the black actor was, right? He was, because he won an Oscar or something. And he was wearing a fucking white tie. And it was so beautiful because he was a black man. You are a fucking race baiter, Oprah. And every white person that was there at the fucking Golden Globes, you're all, you're all liberals. You're all, you're all fucking Democrats, and you had such fucking guilt about what you guys have done to blacks that you sit there with this fucking shit-eating grin with such self-loathing guilt. It's pathetic. You guys are pathetic. Don't lump us in. Don't lump us Republicans in to your fucking racist past. It's fucking pathetic. And Oprah, shame on you for being such a fucking race baiter. Rope Oprah for president? Can you imagine the race division? It will be worse than Obama's if that's possible. Dividing the races. It's it's Morgan Freeman. What what did Morgan Freeman say not too long ago? The reason racism is still so alive is cuz all you fucking assholes keep talking about it so much. Quit talking about it and it'll go away cuz it's not happening. It's not happening. Look at the black crime versus white. And then look at the white crime versus black. Right there, that'll tell you everything. Okay? And just the fact that Oprah, that fucking race-baiting piece of shit, who's a fucking billionaire, she makes millionaires look poor. Why doesn't she live off $100,000 a year, which she could do, and give the rest to the poor black single women out there? I bet she won't do that. But she'll fucking talk about it. It's pathetic. It's pathetic, guys. Please comment. Let me know what you think about what I said. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Please share this, and I'll see you guys later.